Hello and welcome to Monet Cafe. I'm artist Susan Jenkins. We're gonna have some fun today and if you're new here, please subscribe and hit that little bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hello beautiful artistic friends, newcomers, and subscribers. I love pansies and I'm giving you a sneak peek into what happens on Wednesdays on my Patreon page. Every Wednesday I have something called story time where I gather my patrons together for a video tutorial as I teach from some of my favorite pastel books. These are two that we are alternating now. One's called, this one is Pastel Pointers by Richard McKinley. And the one that I'll be doing a demo from today is the Pastel Workbook by Jackie Simmons. Oh my goodness, I love this book. So this is gonna be a speed version of this video for you guys, but I'm gonna give you some information about this particular book right now. The book is by British artist Jackie Simmons, and I fell in love with her work early on in my pastel career. And her teaching style is what is, I believe, so effective in this book. It breaks things down to workable lessons and so much information. So I think you'll enjoy it. Here's a little more about the book. The Pastel Workbook by Jackie Simmons is a little hard to come by right now. I think all my patrons bought it up. So don't freak out if you see this price on Amazon of $88 for the hardcover spiral edition. It is also available, I believe this is the same book, on Amazon for $13. It appears it's just a new edition with a new cover. So look at the paperback price, that's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you can find this book at an affordable price. Now I rave about this book as what I think is one of the best beginner pastel books out there and you can look at this review and see others feel the same way. I won't read it all, but a little ways into the review it says, compared to the books on pastels out there in the market, I think this is by far the best for beginners. And even for those in the intermediate level, this book babysits you. It goes through every step in great detail. So I feel the same way and I just want to share that this is a great beginner pastel book. Also, I thought I'd throw in there, I saw it on this site for $8.69, thriftbooks.com. All right, I promise I'll get to this speed demo soon, but first, a little station break for my new favorite t-shirt company, Love and Faith T-shirts. I love that they're working with me and providing some t-shirts of hope and faith and encouragement during these trying times. So if you'd like to get one of these awesome shirts, I'll have a clickable link in the about section of this video and a coupon code. All right, let's do this tutorial. Here we go. Currently in story time on my Patreon page, we are finishing up lesson five in the pastel workbook. And I love this demo tutorial on pansies. Jackie breaks it down to very workable illustrations and descriptions of how to complete this project. Now I'm sharing with my patrons here, and I'm gonna share with you guys soon, a quick way, if you're a beginning artist and your drawing skills are a little limited right now, but you wanna jump into the tutorial, there is a quick way you can transfer an image onto your surface. It's pretty simple. Basically, for my patrons, I provided this uh, photo for my patrons to print out, and then you would basically just take the photo, find a bright window, flip your image over, and trace it with a charcoal pencil, then just turn it back over so that the charcoal is facing your drawing surface, and use a hard edge to um, rub against the image to transfer it onto the paper. Now just so you know, the final image of this is an 8x8 image, and I'm working on Canson Mitant's Earth Colors paper. It's an unsanded pastel paper. Uh, once again, this is a speed video. Uh, my patrons have the full video, but I'm still giving you a little information. Now I have this hard ruler that's a, um, a metal ruler I've had since college days in graphic design, and it works great to rub against this image to transfer it onto the Canson paper. And even though I'm sharing this information about how to transfer, I highly encourage, and I did for my patrons as well, drawing this. That's the preferred way to do this. You really do need to build good core drawing skills as an artist, and you don't want to uh, use this cheater method uh, throughout your art career. So sometimes I even hesitate sharing this method, but I do know we have a lot of beginners out there, and sometimes we just have a lot of busy people who they want to learn about the color part of this lesson, but they don't have time to get the sketch in. And with subject matter like this, it's very important to get an accurate sketch. 
The remaining portion of this video will be the speed demo portion, but I still think it's pretty interesting to watch. And also I darkened my transfer image. It came out kind of light, so I just took my pencil and darkened it. And by the way, the pencil will cover up when you start adding the pastel. And this is what I was saying about getting the drawing um, accurate for subject matter like this. If this vase is off or the little ellipse around the top, oh yeah, sorry for my big head in the way. I do change my camera angle uh, later. But again, getting things like that ellipse right is very important. That's like to me the good bones or the good foundation of your artwork. So enjoy this process. I'm going to add some music. And once again, my patrons, I know you have the full tutorial. So if you're a patron of mine watching this, don't think you're seeing double. This is just the speed version of the longer lesson that you guys already have. And I can't wait to see what you do, patrons. I love seeing your work in our homework album. I also love it, Monet Cafe, when you guys comment on these videos. I love the feedback from you. You, you also give me really good ideas sometimes. And uh, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. It's a really happy artistic place. And I love my family here in Monet Cafe. All right, enjoy.
Oh, I just love pansies. They're so bright and happy. I love this complimentary color palette with the yellow and the purple. So I hope you guys like that. Once again, this is from the Pastel Workbook by Jackie Simmons in Lesson 5, I believe. So I hope that brightened your day and you're inspired artistically. Keep coming back to Monet Cafe for more video instruction and just a happy place to be. All right, guys, happy painting.